No joke, this may be the best Quest 2 game of 2022. Today we're checking out a brand new game that launches later this year into the Radius. Holy heck, this thing runs beautifully already, even though it is only in a closed beta. It's the best PC VR to Quest port I have ever seen, and it's a full campaign game, which is amazing. Let's check it out right now. Here we are, this is Into the Radius. Now before we actually go out into the radius and I'll show you the game world, I wanted to show you the main hub home area first. This is your sleeping quarters in here. This is where you'll get missions, where you'll stack all your stuff and stock up your inventory. This is where you'll fix and clean your weapons. You can go to sleep here. So this is pretty much where you're gonna start every single time you jump into the game unless you save it outside of your hub area. This is your mission computer here. I've been spending time in here, but I've been collecting stuff, just kind of going out into the radius and collecting stuff, and I'll show you that in just a second. You can collect these little tapes here. You put them in the cassette reader, and it'll play story bits and pieces. This is kind of your inventory system here. You stack it and do whatever you want with it. You've got guns. This is one of the weapons I'm not really using right at the moment. You can actually eject a shell. You can actually pick up shells individually, and when you do that, you actually can put them into your magazine. This is all about survival. So there's a lot of survival mechanics in this game. So when you have a box of ammo, you can actually drop them out individually. I got my sidearm here right now. This is when you start off with. And actually it's a cool mechanic because you can hit the button to show all the information about the gun. And this is the health, if you will. And this is how well the gun is functioning. If the gun is not maintained, it actually will misfire and jam. And I'll show you how to clean them in just a second. One of the cool things I like is when you eject the magazine, you can either eject it fully, or you can actually hold down the ejection button, which is A, and it'll only pop it out halfway so you can grab the magazine and refill it. You, there's tons of pouches here you can put stuff. I've got different magazines here. You've got your scanner right here. You've got a little pouch here you can put anything in. I put my ammo in there. I've got a flashlight here. Another cool mechanic. You can actually flip your flashlight over. Main weapon on your back shoulder. This is cool too because you actually reload them manually. Oops, not that one. You put them in here. There we go. And you have to reload them manually and you can put shells on there. Oh, our backpack over our left shoulder. I've got this nicely organized here. You can actually put another weapon here if you want. And this is all about organization. It tells you your weight here, 11.2 kilograms. And you put things in here in whatever order you want. There's no like specific order. You actually stack stuff in here. I've got this scope right here. It's cool. You can actually look in and uh, see farther distances. But right now, let's clean up a little bit. We're actually going to take these. Let's throw in our backpack and sell these really quick. We'll show you some of the other mechanics in this game. We'll stack them in here. You collect stuff. You can bring them in and sell them. This is where you'll complete your missions and you'll buy new weapons. This is where you can heal yourself here. This is where you will submit your missions. So if you want to deliver something, you hit deliver, pick the mission that you want, throw the thing in there, and then it'll pay you for it. Over here is where you buy and sell stuff. So lots of different categories here. You can go to food, you can get food stuff, science equipment, and then you've got combat equipment, lots of, there's tons of stuff you can buy here. As you upgrade your security level, you'll get access to more stuff. Let's set this in here. And we'll set this shard in here. That's good for now. So we can sell that for a total of $1,050, so we'll hit that. Let me show you how to clean the guns really quickly. I think this is one of the coolest mechanics in the game. So I've left a gun here that was dirty because I wanted to show you how to clean it. So what you actually do, you place it in the vise, and you can see if it's yellow, it needs to be sprayed with a lubricant and brushed off to clean off the debris. If it's blue, I think, that just means that it needs to be the ramrod and the tissue I'll show you but you spray the gun spray it all over with the lubricant and then you're gonna brush it off with the toothbrush see now it's not yellow anymore it's kind of oily and then you're gonna take the ramrod and you're gonna take the tissue you're gonna grab a piece of tissue and you're gonna clean the barrel and eventually it gets back up to full health if you will and you're ready to go. Now there's also a shooting range. There's a shooting range over here. You could do training or free mode. I'm not gonna show you that just because it's literally just a shooting range where you go through and it teaches you how to do everything. The way you get out to the missions is through this door right here. Before we do that, let me show you all the stuff you're gonna need to go on a mission, okay? This here, it's in the back, 
is your tablet type thing where you can look at your map. This will tell you your missions. Here's your journal right there. But the cool thing, I love this. This is, I can't remember what they call it. This three days, 23 hours, 59 minutes until this resets. And when it resets, everything out here resets all the locations of all the stuff apparently. But this is cool. At night, if you're out in the radius at night, this has got a light on it so you can actually see what you're looking at, which is pretty cool because it gets pretty darn dark. Let's go ahead and go out into the radius. So it is 1500 hours. Probably should have not done this. I probably should have gone to sleep. But this will give me a good chance to show you what it looks like at night. It's creepy at night. I'm not sure how long we'll stay out here. But see, there's the... Like the sun, I think that's what that is. I don't even know. We're gonna head towards mission two. Those things you see popping up, like the big white spheres, those are anomalies. You don't wanna walk into those. Oh yeah, the watch. Okay, stamina bar here, health bar. As you get hungry, the stamina bar will go down and it'll be yellow. I just hear something. In order to be able to keep it from being yellow, you have to eat something. You run out of stamina quicker if you're hungry. No enemies as of yet. Should have bought more shotgun shells, but that's okay. We've got our pistol if we need it. Ooh, see that right there? That's an enemy. <laughs> Let's keep on moving. We won't get that one yet. All right, they're coming for me. You see him? That's one that actually shoots at you. It's like a shadow version of a of something. I don't know what it is exactly, but the gray one is like a creature thing. I don't I don't know the technical names right at the moment. All right. Let's go ahead and get our other gun out because we'll make sure that we have plenty of ammunition ready. Gotcha. Got him. Oh, crap. Those things are creepy there. Those little spidery things. Let's, let's uh, whoops. Let's grab another ammunition here. Lock that up. There we go. Find this special rift, destroy it, and bring back the broken shard. Okay. The broken shard will disappear after the tide goes out. That's what it's called when it resets the, tar the tide. So let's not let the tide happen. We gotta get to the broken, whatever that. Find the broken shard. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. Crap. All right, here, where's the broken shard? Let's go find it. Get our flashlight out. Is it in here, you think? I can hear something. Where is this special thing? Ooh, ammunition. I can always use that. Oh, crap, it's getting dark. I don't like the dock. You hear that? That's a... That's the sound of a rift. Hear it? Where is it? Alright, it's getting closer. There it is. Got it. Something's coming for me. I can hear it. Alright, we gotta get out of here. We got the shard. We need to move home as quick as possible. I know there's a guy over here somewhere. Where is he? There you are. Gotcha. Alright. Keep on moving. I got one shell left. I'm gonna have to get more shells. I like this shotgun too much not to. We made it. This is our base here. Let's go and we'll sell the thing that we have and we'll drop off our mission piece that we got. Mission two. See, gives you a green light. Then you're gonna hit complete, continue, and then that's it. There we go. Got some more money. We're at security level one still. I'd like to buy a big box of ammunition, please. Buy that. Thank you. This goes with the ammunition here. We'll refill all these canisters. Eating, like I mentioned before, we'll take something out of here. Oops, that's not it. Grab the backpack. We'll take a can. Actually, let's open this first. You open up the tin, okay? And you're gonna take this, stick your knife in it. Oh, this is pineapple. And you're gonna eat it. See? Refilled our health. I'm not sure if they last. Like if I can put this in my bag and just have it sit there and eat it later. We'll try it. Put our knife back here. There we go. So there. We're doing pretty good, I think. I think that was pretty good. Pretty successful. All right, now we're going to go to sleep. What time is it right now? 18.50. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit... Let's do like morning. Let's do like 6 in the morning. We'll sleep. All right, it's now 6 a.m. We need some more food. We're going to take something from our shelf, actually. Now we need to get this sweet bar. Here's on that sweet bar. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right, it is 8.02 in the morning. Kind of dark for 8.02, but that's okay. I can see. We're gonna get our shotgun out now. 
Let's do this other mission really quickly, shall we? We're going to work our way towards that. Let's go up this way since it kind of should allow us in a roundabout way to get there. We're going on our way to this building, which I think is that section there maybe? Is that it? Oh, no, that's not. Oh, yes, it is. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's the section I went to previously. Okay. I came up here once before, before I got this mission. That looks so cool up in the sky. Alright. I came up here before, and I grabbed some stuff from this building previously. I was supposed to get some sort of papers or documents. Where are these documents? It's creepy, isn't it? How dark it gets. Ooh, is that it? The files? Right, I don't see a file folder anywhere. Is it in there, maybe? Ooh, is that it? There it is. There it is. Okay, good. Let's make our way back. Since we've already got what we need, let's go ahead and make our way around this way. Let's see if we can get back real quick. To Look at that. It only took us an hour to find what we needed. That's pretty good. I've cleared out a lot of the enemies out here. Uh, when it resets, that adds them all back in. <laughs> and uh, I've cleared them out mostly right now, though. So we're not really dealing with much for enemies. Visually, this game is definitely different than the PC version, but considering it's running on Quest, everything that's going on really is actually pretty darn good. And this is just the beta still. Ooh, what's up there? I haven't looked up there. I keep seeing that when I walk by and I don't, I forget to look up there. There we go. Oops. Okay. Ooh, Attention. another gun. This is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening okay. to this, you are most likely oh, suffering right from okay. one or more of the following conditions. Alright, we made it back again to our home base. Let's go ahead and return this folder really quickly, just like that. Complete. Continue. Look at that. A little bit more money and we're good to go. And there you have it. That's Into the Radius. This is a full story game. It's pretty incredible. The amount of detail, the amount of interaction, everything that is involved with this game so far has me very, very excited to continue playing. There you go, that's Into the Radius on the Quest 2. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is in beta currently. So if there are glitches or things that you saw in this video, there's a very good chance they're going to be fixed before the game actually launches later on this year. I, for one, have been jumping back in over and over again to this game. It's a joy to play. It's one of the best running games on the Quest that I've played. By far the best PC VR port to Quest that I have played. And it's just fun and such an in-depth survival game that it just begs me to jump back in every single time I pick up my quest. What do you think, though? Are you going to jump in to this game when it launches on the Quest 2? Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. And you can check out more of my videos right over there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy questing.